Hi, thanks for stopping by. It's Christy, and today I'm going to do lesson two of how to spin on your Kromsky uh, spinning wheel. So, if you're like me and you're learning how to spin online, as I did, it's completely possible. So don't get discouraged. If you're thinking about buying a wheel or if you just bought a wheel and now you need to learn how to do it, you can absolutely do this online. You've got this, all right? So I'm just gonna break it down into little chunks. The next thing after you have practiced your treadling and before you start doing your drafting, you need to set up your leader. So your leader is this little bit of string or yarn that you're gonna attach your fiber to. And if you look here, I'm just gonna cut this one off so that you guys can see exactly how to get started. Um, because in my first one I said, ah, go look at another video, but I thought, you know what? I should give them a video. So you'll see here, I had some fiber right on there and that's that's from leftover original alpaca yarn that I had on there. Um, but this is just too short for a beginner to use as a leader. So I thought, ah, I'm gonna show them how to make a leader. So let me pause you, get the angle just right, and we'll get started. Okay, I have in my handy little hand here my little bobbin. This is the original bobbin that comes with the um, chrome space spinning wheel. And so you see it has a little lead lip right here and a lip right here. Now you can choose one's bigger, one's smaller, but that's for another lesson. Right now, I've got a substantial amount of just store-bought yarn. Now you can use kitchen thread, you can use shoelaces, you can use darn near anything as long as it's a string. So I folded it over on itself, so I have a middle, you see? And I've got my two dangly pieces down here. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take this right here and you're gonna take your two end pieces and put them through the loop. Ta-da! That's it. That's a slip knot. It's not rocket science. It's literally just the tails stuck in through the loop. Okay? So that way, as you as it spins and as you pull, it just gets tighter and tighter so it won't zip all around. Now, if for whatever reason you happen to have a yarn that's just slippery and it's just as you spin, this is spinning. If this is happening, you're never gonna get yarn onto your bobbin. So if that happens to you, do not lose heart. Just cheat and, not really cheating, because it's your process and you can do it any way you want. Don't let the yarn police tell you that you're doing it wrong, but you can help yourself by just putting tape on there, <laughs> okay? Just problem solve it. Just put some tape right there and it will no longer wiggle around, all right? And sometimes you have to do that when you're beginning and it's okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this back on here. It doesn't matter to me which side, if I have the big ridge or the little ridge. So I'm just gonna put it right on there. And you see it sets into here. There's a little um, there's a little leather piece that this sets right into, right there. So that goes there, but there's also this. Okay, this is my zoom in for you. This is my break. My little brake line right here okay and on one side there's like a little eye thing mm, let's get over here so you can see it oh the mailman's coming that means the neighbor's dogs are gonna go crazy on one side there's this little eye hook and on the other side as I showed you in my previous one there is a spring and that's going to control the tension 
and determine how fast your bobbin is gonna spin. So I'm just gonna pick all this up. I'm gonna put this string right here. Now my original string broke a long time ago, so I'm just using um, a waxed thread that I used for when I put my soles on my felted boots. And that's pretty strong stuff. It works really well. Um, but you can also use, you know, I think it came with like hemp. Um, but I, I broke that a long time ago. There's that. And now, now I'm going to get it through this hole and in through my orifice here. See, I can stick my finger in there. Ah, stuck. <laughs> so now we're going to string it through there. And if I can find my little, I was hooking this thing. Oh, here it is, fell on the floor. So I put this through the orifice, up through this little hole. Grab, well, put these through your hooks. Grab it through there. And bring it through. All right, now I've got it through. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a little loop down here so that when I attach my fiber, I can attach it into that loop. And that'll make it even easier. See right there? It's like a little, it's like another little, another little loop. And I have my fiber. So what I'll do is I'll take just a tiny bit of my fiber, like that, and I'll stick it in there, like so, and then I'll tie it. And now I have the beginning of my leader. So now, let's set this up for you. We're ready to get started. I'm just gonna show you get this up and it'll start to spin. Now this is going to determine how fast it spins. If it's super lax, then this will spin and spin and spin, but it's not going to pull up. See, I'm holding it completely slack. It doesn't even pull up. As I tighten this, where's the tightening? As I tighten it up, whoa, it gets sucked in, okay? So that's gonna how that's how you're gonna do it, and you're gonna start drafting. Now the second le the third lesson is gonna be on drafting, but this is just how you get started. I hope that was super duper helpful to you. If you're beginning, I know it is <laughs> because that's pretty key to getting started. So that is lesson two. If you need lesson three on how to draft, if you're having problems drafting, which means getting the right amount of uh, wool uh, to pass from your fingers and get onto the bobbin, then that'll be lesson three. I'll see you in a bit. H happy uh, yarn making. It's amazing. And you can do all kinds of stuff. This is my homespun yarn. Um, I made all kinds of garments homespun. It's just, there's just nothing like your own yarn. So go ahead and grab it by both hands. You can do this. Incidentally, if you're not in a position to afford a wheel, they are kind of pricey. You can buy them online. Um, on Facebook, there's some used spinning equipment Facebook sites. You can check there. Or just simply start with the spindle. Spindling, there's a great book called, I think it's called Respect the Spindle. And spindling is the most ancient form of spinning. And you can literally start spinning for 20 bucks uh, for like a spin or less for a spindle. You can also make your own spindles. So um, I've been told that you can even make them with an apple and a, um, and a um, knitting needle, which would be amazing. I should just check that out and see if it's possible and do a video on it. But um, don't spend a ton of money learning to spin. Um, just work with what you have. Whatever you know, price range you're at, what you can afford, start there because uh, spindling is going to perfect your drafting. 
Spinning is drafting and treadling. So it's a little harder to jump into a spinning wheel, but you'll spin much faster. You'll make much more yarn and I'll, you know, you can make lots of, actually you cannot make more types of yarn. You can make just as many types of yarn spindling as you can with a spinning wheel. You can just make it faster on a spinning wheel. Okay, have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to learn all about fiber. And don't forget to share uh, because sharing is caring. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.